think if Canelo was using the jab effectively, hard, the guy wouldn't have been able to come in because the guy was coming in because he wasn't worried about Canelo's jab. So he got more aggressive and he got brave. If he's not jabbing, what, he, has no, he has no defense. When he was jabbing, Canelo should have been moving, slipping the jab for the front uppercut. Boom, boom. But when, if he can anticipate the combination, if he was slipping the jab, um, the guy wouldn't throw the combination. Could not continue that round at the right. Oh, a big right hand! And left hook of Mike Tyson. But also, you notice now you see a much more relaxed.
Tyson hit him as he's coming in. And there is a lot of head movement on the part of Mike Tyson here at the outset. Jabbing it doesn't have anything to do with the length of your arms, or anything. Jabbing is all to do with timing. If you throw your jab at the right time, you could be 5'6", and I'll jab a guy 6'4". 